What's going on guys? Yes. And today I am going to be explaining to you the whole Fortnite storyline that I think has gone so far. So first you've got to think back to um some of the older seasons back in chapter one while some of the newer seasons back in chapter one. Right. Well first we need to go to chapter one season nine. The Mecha vs Robot Live event, which was really popular. Well, not as popular as that as the Galactus event. But anyways, um, in there, um, the monster tried to break into the vault of the zero point, failed, and then um, the Mecha team leader used the zero point's power and destabilised it. To destroy the monster which then back and then in the next season we all got transported to this fortnite island which not like this at the moment the chapter the season one map we had pois such as the middle center we had pleasant park south springs retail rose backs and a load of other locations were different and as the seasons prove and then you need to go to the next season, because in season one of chapter two, nothing happened. So you need to go back to the Midas event. Yeah, that event. That I love that season, but anyways. Um, in that season, that was one of the last or a bit slick. Well, not really. Um, but last battle pass that we would see that would have normal s skins. Uh, no, wait, no, that was chapter two, season three. But anyways, we're talking about the Fortnite storyline. Um, so Midas was creating a doomsday device, which people speculate that he was evil, but he was trying to escape us out of the loop. So John Jones trapped us in by bringing sharks to the map, probably. But that's probably not true. Um, because none of my theories are absolutely correct since I'm not an epic employee CEO like Donald Mustard. But I am somebody that you should click subscribe on if you don't find me annoying. Because I don't think I'm annoying. Well, I probably am. But, then you go to the Nexus season, where Galactus destabilised the zero point like the Mecha team leader, but the Mecha team leader did it to save all reality. Oh, wait, let's just... Um, and whilst the Mecha team leader was doing that, basically... Midas was also using the power. Galactus was trying to absorb our planet to save um, Thor's and his planet that they live on. But failed thanks to... Thanks to brilliant... Brilliant scientist Tony Stark. Which helps us defeat Galactus. And save all realities. Until we realise what the next season was about. Destabilised zero point. We're not really destabilised. And this is where we are at the moment. Surprise, surprise. Um, and what is happening this season is worlds collide. Now, all the other seasons that I've linked together so far. Um, chapter 2, season... Four, something bad happens. Chapter 2, Season 5, which is the season that we're on at the moment. Unless you're watching this in the future. Um, yeah. So, a lot of things have happened already. We've got Salty Towers is going to... Has mixed with Pleasant Park. Um, Catacorner might mix with the prison, and we know Misty Meadows is going to link with um, Lucky Landing. Now, Lucky 
Landing is a spot from chapter chapter one, season three. Um, which doesn't matter. Most of the other POIs are also from a different season. Um, the prisoners basically always been on the map, but it does matter about those. Um, we're having like a worlds collide season, like chapter one, season two. Um, and this is the season where we're basically doing the same thing. Um. As like some other seasons. And in chapter 2 season 6 it was darkness rising. So wonder what's going to happen then. Probably hopefully. Oh wait yeah it was Halloween. So we're not going to have a season like that again. But to be fair we had Kevin the Cube. So maybe Kevin's going to have an appearance. Back on to the Fortnite map. Hope he does. Because I didn't play. Back when Kevin was on the map. So you can't blame me if you know what happens in there. Since I didn't play Chapter 1 Season 6, I only played in Chapter 1 Season 7 for like two games. Um, but I really started playing Chapter 2 Season 1. Um, but anyways, um, the Fortnite storyline Kai is kind of linking together. John Jones is the bad guy. This guy that I'm wearing called Midas is the good guy. He he's, he has been the closest one to helping us escape in the loop. Apart from when um, Bunker Jonesy, which I'm going to show you show you soon, um, he is one of those people that you um, that gives you stuff. He wants to escape the loop like Midas. Midas didn't want to be stuck in here because, and Midas is one of the closest so far in Chaps 2. And Bunker Jonesy is has, is relating to the reboot, the reboot fans. Yes, he thinks the reboot fans is what the loop is all about. And I can explain why. Basically, if you're playing normal duos, squads or anything else you would and you die and your teammate can't revive you normally they'll have to go get your boot card and basically you were dead so basically when you respawn you come all the way back through the loop from being dead and come back to life so that's why he's probably thinking about that and anyway he is basically just another snapshot of um john jones in the loop so that's explaining why he might be now the closest one so so far to being to escaping the loop. And we're good and now we're going to go see what he says and we're gonna have conversations with him. He has a lot of dialogue about how we escape and I'm also gonna show you the challenges that he says about. He says something about like um well, a couple of weeks ago, he said about a couple of days ago, he had, um... Anyway, you go into new quests, and then you need to find... This is him, Bunker Jonesy. The imagined order is watching... Oh, uh, no, we need to find one of his zero point, um... Need to find a different one. I saw Bunker Jonesy, reboot teammates, yeah. This is one of his um, reboot challenges. So, if you don't know, he thinks, if you didn't really listen to that, what I just said, he thinks that, um, he thinks that the reboot fans have something to link with the loop, which is not what Midas thought, but, the device event um three seasons ago you would have as well in chapter one season eight i should just remind you we had our first look at the zero point in the unvaulting event and the volcano event where it destroyed tilted towers and retail row but now retail row is back on the map um which is good and i'm happy about that 
Okay, but we need to go find him. So if you don't know where he spawns, he sometimes spawns like over here somewhere. He spawns maybe at Camp Cod. And he might spawn at this over here. So if he doesn't spawn over here, then we'll just drive all the way over to it in a boat. Um, the reason why we're going to do this is see some of his dialogue about the reboot vans. And then I can say, um, job is well done so far. As well, we'll also go and make a new video later on today about the new Flintlock back in the game. Yes, they're back in the game if you haven't seen it. Um, they came in Chapter 1, Season 8. Haha, <laughs> we just talked about that. And about how we saw our first snapshots of the Zero Point. Um, basically, if as well... John Jones is basically Jonesy. If you've seen when he brings the hunters, his tie goes onto his arm, if you look carefully, on the Terminator thing. On the Terminator thing. Um, thing. I don't know why I'm saying things three times. But. Okay, he's here. Good, good. Good, good, good. Um. And this is Bunker Jonesy's dialogue. He says stuff like Bigfoot. He says, Here, here it comes. Don't say I didn't warn you. What do you mean? Is that sarcasm? I'm not I'm not good at sarcasm, do you believe me or not? What do you mean? I think you've lost your mind. People keep saying that. Okay, we need the loop. Don't you see? We're all in one big loop. So what does the loop do? It loops. You, me, time, space, it all loops. Yeah. So he's not saying anything about the reboot vans. Um, which, but he does in his challenges. Because he thinks the reboot vans can help us. As well, he can also leak some secret dialogue. So, say that we had John Jones in the game. He would have said something about him. You're the first version of me. I remember you. Or no, it, it's all coming back. As well, if you do it as Jonesy, he, he gives dialogue. Um, don't do it as any other Jonesy. I don't think he does anything. As well, if you do it as himself, then he does nothing. That I know of. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe button for um, sometimes daily videos. If you haven't seen me already. And as well, peace out.